Hello everyone, my name is Master Starman and welcome back for more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. Last time we... Last time we completed a really annoying um, room filled with freaking wall masters. We got the mirror shield. Ugh. We have to deal with these guys, whom I'm just gonna run from these guys now because I can't really do anything else beyond this part. Um, shoot, this part kind of sucks because you have to kind of wait it out a little bit, but yeah. Um, can I move this anyway? I think I can. I think Link can move this. Yeah, I can. Sweet. That's just the power of the power bracelets. In this part, we're going to hopefully be pressing onward through the, uh, through this dungeon and whatnot. I am just going to run like hell because I do not want to deal with wall masters anymore. So, let's go, Medley. Let's continue onward through this. I'm surprised I haven't been making any jokes about Medley yet, apart from the whole, like, hitting your head off the wall thing. Um, yeah, sh I can throw her up. I thought I could throw her up there anyway. What are you doing that for? Okay, there we go. So, anyways. I believe we're pretty close to the way through this game, through this dungeon. Um, I remember this room kind of sucks because of what you actually have to do in it, but... Uh, these enemies here are actually pretty annoying. Um... They, they do what's called cursing you, which is, well, actually, no, they don't curse you. They, like, possess you. It's it's hard to explain, but it's annoying as hell. I'm not sure how to explain this. I think the light that I reflect on my instrument can be re-reflected re on your shield, Link. Hope you're not offended by my suggestions. I'm, I'm not offended. I'm surprised she says that, to be honest with you, because honestly, she's pretty damn helpful. Kill you, because you suck. Okay, now then, how do I want to go about doing this here? Because... <sighs> yeah, I need to get... I need to be lower. I'll try right there, because that way I think I can do this now. Um, I should be able to get this one over here, at least. Give me this one. Come on, now. I, I was clearly shining my- No, no, no! Ah! Freaking call button! To be honest, you really don't even need that one in this game that much, to be honest with you. Yeah, and you need it. Okay, well, Medley can actually get rid of these guys here, which is what I'm going to do because I don't really feel like screwing around. I remember hating this puzzle a lot for whatever reason. I'm not sure why. I just remember it not exactly being that clear what to do. And, like, maybe I was just young and didn't really know physics at the time or something. Or, like, how the wind would have worked. And I didn't realize that was the... Reflection of Medley's instrument working there. Yeah, because you need to... If you're standing too close to the... Um... Hey, hold on, hold on. Yes, thank God. That actually worked. Oh my God. Is there another room in this area? No. Um, yeah, and I was wondering. The big hallway was just that other part to the side, which is still technically the same room. This, <laughs> I actually didn't know that would happen if I attacked that key. This room, I believe, is pretty difficult because we have a lot of reeds in this room. Actually, uh, really, that's in one of those is in this room. I didn't remember that. Um, I believe we gotta get a key, and there's a few reeds we gotta dodge while we're on our way to get it, or not. Um. Oh, oh god, no, 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 no. What's in this one? Yellow Rupee, you're an annoying bad enemy. I 
don't think arrows work on these guys. Nope. Nope. Ugh. These their screams don't last that long in this game. I remember, I thought it would have been like a longer, or at least I remember being a lot longer anyway. Oh, there's a Stalfos in this room too. That's also pretty da dangerous. I love this song. Yes, I do. I was really off key with that. Okay, apparently... Okay, apparently I was just told that Ro Roselia and Aluma were apparently added to Smash Bros. 4. I don't know how that's gonna work for either of those two, especially Luma. I could probably see Roselia, but not... Or like, I don't understand how a Roselia would really work. Anyways, we're, at, we're basically at the boss area, but we don't actually have the boss key yet. We actually have to go really deep to find that. Um, actually, I'm gonna take Medley with me, because I think I do need her for this. Oh, okay, there's, um... Okay, it's because Z ZMP's watching the friggin' Nintendo Direct, so... I'll watch that after I'm done with this. I'll have to refrain from looking at Skype now, because he'll just be posting every fucking spoiler I can imagine. Ugh, okay, and this is the room that has the puzzle that seriously takes like 10 freaking minutes to do. You have to... It seriously takes a long, long time to do this. And I believe this is where the other treasure chart is as well. Um... Okay... Oh boy, I may actually be like speeding up this puzzle here just because of how damn long it really takes. Um, I don't know if any of this is worth your kids. Yeah, I think you can walk around eventually. We were somewhere in Sousa, we can take a long time for that. So? Oh, there's a chest in here. Doesn't look like there's anyone. Um, I should be right here. Oh, there's a video. It's interesting, it's interesting, it's interesting, it's interesting. And the other half causes that to light up. Oh my god. Oh my god. This damn puzzle, seriously, is ass. Oh well, we have we have a dark or um yeah, a dark nut and a few other enemies. Oh, the cursed guys! Damn it! 
Oh, oh, really not what I needed at all, especially with a freaking dark nut in the room. I don't know how long this... Okay, that, that doesn't last very long, as long as I thought, anyway. I want to kill these guys first, because... Yes, because doing that to a dark nut is totally going to do anything. Okay, now we actually have a fair fight. We fought many of these guys before, especially under the sea, so... Yeah, I doubt one of these guys is going to be... It's off. You and your friggin' macho aerobic moves. I don't even know. Anyways, here we go. Big key time. It's all around a pretty small letdown of a mini boss. Though I guess if you don't already have the hurricane spin, it might not be bad to get it. Though if you don't, let's just say the boss of this dungeon actually, it does benefit well if you have hurricane spin. Let's just put it at that. Now then, there was another door medley opened up here, which I believe has the second treasure chart as well. Ah, uh, it should. It looks like a room that probably would. Actually, I think this room just has a few Stalfos in it. Am I right? Um, let me just get my items ready for this. The Stalfos. Shoot. Blow up. Yeah, you have to break these open with the light. Damn it. Alright, well, let's just fight all of them at once then. I don't mind. It's just some Stalfos. Not like they're any tougher than... Oh god, this attack hurts like shit. Alright, sweet. Took that guy out. That guy should be taken out in a second. <laughs> Batter up, Link. <laughs> That's like the best. I never knew that weapon worked so well against Stalfos. Like, most people usually try and, like, fight them offensively with, like, your sword. Which takes a long time to do that, and that spin attack Stealthos has actually hurts like shit, so... Oh, no, why did you do that? Really, the, the whole technique really does work well. Anyways, this should be the other treasure chart. I don't know if we actually need to bring Medley in with us anymore. I, I'm guessing we do be to get over to where the boss room is. That room is uh pretty elevated, and I don't know even with the leaf or not. Like, cause I think the leaf has a bit of too much of a descent with it. All right, I think Medley should be at the top of this room though, cause yep, thankfully. Now then, to get out of this room, this room's kind of a different story to get out of. We have this giant wall here. This room's really weird, like, I, I don't know what about it it is, it always reminded me of something out of, like, Twilight Princess, because it really doesn't have that much significance, and it's just this giant-ass open room that leads to, a, like, another room that's about equally size, not counting the, uh, height. It's, like, equally, if not bigger, and... Diameter, in fact, actually. Uh, yeah, actually, I'd say this room's a little bit bigger. The room we were just in is a bit bigger, actually. Um, I should be able to make that with my leaf. Um, I don't see why I can't. Eh, whatever. Let's put like this and get medley up here anyway. We have this, so might as well use it. She can't fly up. Like, she has a set height thing. If this ends up flying me into, like, a descented area way, then I believe this should take me right over here. Yep, alright, sweet. 
And I think we're about ready to go on here, so... Okay, and he leaves Medley behind anyway, so... Alright. I should have probably broken those pots for money, but I didn't think about that, actually. And we have a lot of ghosts going around. Eh? Intruder alert! Uh-oh, we must around. We must around. And they all form into... The fattest one of them all. Meet Jalhalla, everyone. Jalhalla really is... Honestly, in my opinion, one of the easier bosses in the game. And I say this about every freaking boss fight in the game, but... Jalhalla really is not that difficult. Of course, I, was, I screwed up that tactic there. Basically, we just gotta pick up his fat ass. And anybody who's seen Chugga Conroy's Let's Play knows of this technique. Let's use our newly learned Hurricane Spin on this guy. And just destroy half of these things immediately. Um, but I've known about this technique long before Chugga Conroy's Let's Play of the game, so... To be honest, I really would not consider it his. Like, I know some people like to try and, like, trademark certain things of his. Like, and I remember, like, um, ah, oh, shoot. The light patterns randomly change as well. I remember once when I did my Pikmin 2 stream, I was fighting a man at legs. They're like, yo, Chugger Conroy's strategy. I'm like, really? Chugger Conroy didn't invent that strategy. It's just, like, it's... I'm not trying to backlash Chugga Conroy. I've met the guy in person before. He's a really great guy. Um, huge inspiration for me, and, like, I look up to the guy a lot, but, like, sometimes I feel like his fan base takes way too many, like, takes way too much of his stuff, like, a little bit too personally, like, If it isn't apparent, you need to throw them into those big ass spike columns in the side of the area, by the way. In order to actually do any damage. If you throw them on the little ones to the side, it won't do anything. Alright, flamethrower attack. It can usually stop his attacks partway through his animation thing there. And yeah, so. This should be it. Oh, no, there's one more. Yeah, all right, the last one is dead. This drops the... Her no, the heart container didn't drop in there. Oh? Huh? Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. And he goes up into the light where he can't really escape, so... The mask shatters. All right. Uh. <sighs> Anyways, wow, this video's been going on way too freaking long. We get another heart container, your life increase energy is increased by one. We now have 11 hearts, wow. I mentioned this in Majora's Mask too, but I always like, for whatever reason, in Zelda games, whenever you add your second life, bar, the second part of your life bar on, like whenever you get your eleventh heart container. I don't know why I do. I just do for I don't even know what reason. So, anyways, with that, I think we. Well, first of all, we should probably watch this cutscene anyway, because it has some meaning to it. Let's power up this tr let's power up this master sword, baby. What the hell? Just message me on Facebook. Oh, what the hell? Why was I seriously informed of that? I don't even want to know. It's nothing bad. It's just stupid. Mm -hmm. 
So it seems that the, that the Zora ended up adapting their wings after all. I know I mentioned this like, many times already, but... And oh, it looks so pretty in high def! Even Medley's surprised as well. Because the sword opens! The prayers of the Earth Sage have restored the Master Sword's former energy. There's one last step before it becomes the true Master Sword once again. Think, the power to repel evil is not yet fully awakened. To complete the awakening of the Master Sword, you must go to the Wind Temple for one more prayer. Now, Link. Step into the light behind you and return to the surface. Your next duty will be find the Sage of the Wind Temple. I will remain here and continue to pray. You must hurry. Alright, Medley. We'll see you again some other time. And Link! Um, the Prince Kamali, please watch over him for me. Will do. So after saying goodbye to our good friend Medley, who's now awakened as the, the Sage of the Earth Temple, Oh, a tingle bottle. Yep. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. I'm gonna read these. <laughs> That's awesome. I'll show you what that one was in a second. Uh, <laughs> the caption for this one was that monster. Uh, I gotta love selfies sometimes. Anyways, one other tingle bottle. Nothing particularly special. So what do you have to say, King? Master yeah, so Sword's power is still not being fully restored. Perhaps I'm mistaken, but I fear the word for the worst age in the remaining temple. You must hurry, Link. Alright, next time on The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, I think we might have a small expedition time? I'm not sure. Um... I really don't know, to be honest with you. Because... I don't know what else is left for us to do, to be honest with you. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot, but I'm really not sure. I guess now, if you didn't already think to do it, you can get the heart piece on top of the island, which I already got. Anyways, yeah, whatever. See you guys in the next episode of Wind Waker HD. Peace out. Thank you guys so much for watching, too. You guys always come first, FYI.